Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm looking at the Las Vegas Raiders after they just signed longtime Chargers cornerback Casey Hayward. But before we get into that topic, question for those of you viewing, especially the Raiders fans out there, question is, do you think the Raiders will make the playoffs in the 2021 NFL season? Comment down below. But getting into the topic, if you're a part of the Chargers fan base or if you're a part of the Chargers themselves, it's kind of a kick in the teeth to see a longtime cornerback that was pretty loyal to your franchise now go to arguably your biggest rival of all time in the Raiders in the same division. But at the end of the day, you can't blame the guy. It's just a job at the end of the day. And at, again, at the end of the day, it was the Chargers' decision to release Casey Hayward. They can't control what he does once he's a free agent. So as much as you want to mourn about it, and as much as it does suck, especially if you're a Chargers fan, it is what it is. But looking at the Raiders now, <clears throat> you know, a Raiders defense I had zero hope last year in 2020 I mean they just there wasn't anything to look forward to now this is a Raiders team that it's not going to be a lockdown defense by anything by any means but you can at least respect it now that you have like an offense or excuse me a defensive line that has Jonathan Hankins and Yannick Ngakwe a secondary that has a young rookie in Trevon Morig a Casey Hayward little bit of mixes between there, between youth and veteran and experience, but still, it'll clash together well, in my opinion. I do like the Javon Morgan, Casey Hayward duo to a safety versus a corner, but still, I think they'll feed off of each other. And Javon Morg, Morg, arguably, being the number one safety in the draft, there's a couple guys out there, Javon Holland, but Morg, I think, is debatably, to a lot of people, the number one safety in the draft. Raiders got him. And Casey Hayward, that was a pretty good move. Casey Hayward is getting up there in age. But like I said, he's a veteran that can still provide mentorship. He's still got knowledge. He's still great from the neck up. He's still one of the better corners in the NFL. I believe Pro Football Focus has him ranked uh, as the number one corner since 2016, according to their PFF grade. So that's obviously pretty good. He could still hold his own by any means. He's getting up there in age. It might be, not be the fastest or the most athletic anymore. Like I said, he could still hold his own. He's kind of like a Richard Sherman on the free agent market he's old and you don't know what you're gonna get out of him but you know he's at least still worth something even Casey Hayward I think is more valuable than Richard Sherman at this point in their careers so again pretty good move now that your defense at least has something to build off in Hayward and Morig and Hankins and Ngakwe again this isn't gonna be a Raiders team that takes down the Chiefs by any means but at least they're progressing they're going in the right direction I'm still curious how this entire team will be this year is John Gruden, if he has another below 500 season, is he ever going to be on the hot seat? I know he's on a 10-year deal of $100 million, but at what point do you tell the guy, like, look, we need to see something. We need a playoff berth. We need at least some progression, and the team is getting better. But still, this is a team that's not even close to fighting against the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, at this rate, this Raiders team might be in fourth place next year in the AFC West. It sounds bold, but... When you got the Chiefs in a dynasty right now, they're easily going to be first seed in my opinion. I want to say easily, but more likely than not. Chargers, they're emerging with Justin Herbert. They got a rebuilt offensive line. Their defense is getting there. And the offense, a brand new head coach. If Brandon Staley's a click, this Chargers team is going to be in a solidified second place and might even give the Chiefs a run for first place. And then the Denver Broncos, if Drew Locke or Teddy Bridgewater gets hurt or is a bust, then the Raiders, then it's open for third place. But to me, as Drew Locke gets better and as this Broncos starts to feature this best secondary in the NFL or if the Broncos trades for an Aaron Rodgers and you, all of a sudden you have a division that has Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Derek Carr, guess who's the worst in that division? Derek Carr. And not to take anything away from Derek Carr, I'm actually a pretty big fan of him. I think he's above average quarterback. I think he's actually even a little bit underrated. But when you're comparing him to Mahomes and Rodgers, it's just two completely different tiers and classes in the NFL when you compare quarterbacks. And this offense does have things going for him. Like I said, they got above average quarterback in Derek Carr. Josh Jacobs is a top 10 quarterback. Darren Waller is a top three tight end. Your receivers, mm, you got Hunter Refro. Hopefully Henry Ruggs will develop a little better. I feel like he just relies on his speed a little too much. But for now, we'll see if it works in the long run. I'm not sure. But John Gruden, a very cerebral head coach, very smart guy. Might be able to execute and find the best way to make this offense click. Again, it's not a perfect Raiders team. I don't think if you just fire Gruden and put it in a different coach, they're all of a sudden going to go make a run at the Chiefs or a run at the Super Bowl. But still, you do want to see a little bit of a better team. John Gruden making some weird plays or real weird calls as in the sense of drafting Alex Leatherwood. A lot of people are hating, excuse me, <clears throat> hating the Raiders draft class. And I've got to agree, Alex Leatherwood, I was kind of surprised by that pick and I still don't really 
agree with it. Trevon Morgan, if it weren't for him, I feel like we would just completely laugh at this Raiders draft class, but still, Trevon Morgan has at least given him a little bit of a bumper to not completely just make a joke of him. Again, it's starting to get together, and this Raiders team, I like the move by Casey Hayward because the guy, he still has value. He's not a bust by any means. He's not He's not going to retire this year. I still think he has some gas in the tank that he can provide and help young defenses like with the new Javon Morg and Jonathan Abram. But we'll just see how it goes. Again, Raiders team, even if Casey Hayward all of a sudden has a career year, this Raiders team isn't making a run at at the division by any means. I don't even think they'll make a run at the playoffs. And I know the Raiders fans are going to cry at that remark, but they're just not. Looking at their division with the Chiefs, with the Chargers, and with the Broncos, if Drew Locke progresses and he becomes what the Broncos are hoping him to be Raiders are just just feel like they're left behind I feel like they have a little they have specks of talent on this roster there's no denying that I like Derek Carr Darren Waller Josh Jacobs Henry Ruggs Yannick Ngakwe Javon Morg um Casey Hayward but outside of that there's no depth there's a, there's no one to back them up you're relying on you know five to seven guys to just carry an entire team to the playoffs and go past the Chiefs dynasty and go through a Justin Herbert Chargers and go through a good defense in the Denver Broncos it's just the Raiders they can't do all that they can't do everything John Gruden he can't play football he can't control all the variables to the game and this Raiders team I think they're going in the right direction I think in the future if they just invest in John Gruden a little bit longer maybe he will turn things around and it's too soon to judge him yet guy on a 10-year contract and he's only three years in he's shown progress he hasn't shown great success but progress is progress I do think the Raiders might figure it out eventually but right now I do think they're a step behind but again I'm a big fan of the Casey Hayward trade I think it was a good move again it's a kick in the teeth to the Chargers if you're a Chargers fan if you're part of the Chargers team as part of Chargers front office it's like oh damn he's going to our biggest rival ever either then the Chiefs or Broncos, whatever you want to say, this is the Chargers' biggest rival. It's definitely someone within the division, and that is where Casey Hayward went. Good move by the Raiders. It hurts for the Chargers, but Raiders, you can't can't blame them for it. Casey Hayward, you can't blame him for him. It's a job, like I said at the end of the day. Chargers, get back at them. Get your revenge by beating them in the playoffs or beating them in the regular season. That's all I can say. You guys will probably still have a good relationship when you meet again between the Chargers team and Casey Hayward, but still, once the game is being played, I'm sure the Chargers will get their revenge and beat the Raiders once or twice. But overall, I want to hear from you guys. Do you think this was a good move by the Raiders? And do you think it was a good move by the Chargers? Should they have kept them? Should they not have released them? You know, if it's going to make them that mad that he goes to the make them mad, mad that he goes to the Raiders, why didn't you just keep them? Whatever your thoughts are for the Chargers, for the Raiders, for Casey Hayward himself, comment it down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say and just think outside of the box from my opinion. And of course, back to the question of the day. Do you think this Raiders team will make the playoffs? They don't necessarily have to win the division, but do you think they'll make at least a wild card round? To me, I don't. The AFC is so tough right now. I mean, the Dolphins went 10-6 and six last year and didn't even make the playoffs. I just think there's a lot of playoff teams with the Dolphins, Bills, Chiefs, Chargers, Ravens, Browns, Titans, Colts, maybe the Patriots, maybe the Broncos if they get Aaron Rodgers. I just think the Raiders are one to two years behind from finally becoming a playoff team. But who, who knows? We'll see. We don't know what will happen until it actually happens. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Two-minute warning.